All right, hello students. Welcome to day two of Christ Light this week. So on the second day, the day after telling the story, we'll either spend the day retelling the story with pictures or we'll just out, it'll, it'll just be a video of me talking to you, talking about the story and how we can apply it to our daily lives. So today we're kind of going to do a mixture of both. Right now we're just going to retell the story with pictures. So we're going to start. Many years ago, God said that the Savior of the world would be born in the town of Bethlehem. So right here in a cloud, we can see the town of Bethlehem. So Joseph, the carpenter right here, lived in the town of Nazareth. One night, God sent the angel Gabriel to tell him that the baby Mary was expecting the baby that Mary was expecting was a promised son of God. And he was to marry Mary and take care of her and the baby. So he's saying Joseph has to marry Mary and help her take care of the baby. And the baby is Jesus. So the Emperor Augustus wanted more tax money. He made a new law that everyone was to go to the town their ancestors came from to put their names on a list. So Joseph, the carpenter, had to go back to Bethlehem. Joseph told Mary, my ancestor David came from Bethlehem, so I must go there to put my name on the tax list. Even though your baby will be born soon, you will have to come with me because God wants me to look after you. Now Mary's going to have to go on this long trip all the way to Bethlehem. Remember, they're in Nazareth. It took about three days to get to Bethlehem, and Mary rode on the back of a donkey. It was a bumpy ride, and Mary would have been very tired and very uncomfortable. So we can see Mary riding on the donkey and Joseph leading the way. So many people had come to put their name on the list at Bethlehem that there was nowhere for Mary and Joseph to stay except a stable that animals slept in. So this is where they find it. That night, baby Jesus, the promised Savior, was born in a stable in Bethlehem. A very bright star appeared in the sky right above the place where he was born. So now we're going to talk about Jesus' birth. Now, people, when we read it, they say he had a lowly birth. So I want you to think lowly birth. What could that mean? So it means this is God's son. This is Jesus. He came down here to take away all of our sins and die for us so that we may have eternal life. And that he was very special. But he was chosen to be born of an ordinary woman in a stable with a manger as a bed. So they're saying how humble he is, how lowly. He's this amazing, it's Jesus. He came to die for our sins so that we can go to heaven. And this was where he was born, right in, ooh, right in a manger. So they called the baby Jesus, just like the angel Gabriel had told them. And they wrapped him in a soft linen cloth and made him a bed in a manger box of hay. So this is why they call it a lowly birth. In that sense, now we're going to talk again real quick. So Jesus' birth fills us with joy. Why do you think it fills us with joy? Because it shows us that he came to save us and how much Jesus loves us. He came all the way to earth to die for our sins. That's pretty special, right? And it shows that we're special because we're God's children. So now the shepherds that came, they showed their joy about Jesus by telling others. So we can show our joy about Jesus by also telling other people this story. So I encourage you to tell maybe someone in your family, maybe someone that you meet, a new friend, tell them about the joy of Jesus. The joy that it brings you and the joy that it brings me that this is our Savior who came to earth to die for us and take away our sins so that we can have eternal home in heaven. 
All right, so there's going to be assignment below, just another quiz or worksheet for you to fill out, and you can check that in Edmodo. All right, thank you.